हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द डे फाइव ऑफ ए एजेंट कोर्स फ्रॉम गूगल द फाइनल डे बट देर इज अ कैप्शन प्रोजेक्ट विल कंटिन्यू दिस सीरीज यू लाइक इट हो यू ऑल आर एंजॉइंग दीज से एंड प्रैक्टिसिंग द असाइनमेंट्स आई एम रियली हैप्पी टू सी ऑल ऑफ यू डूइंग समथिंग एंड प्रैक्टिसिंग एंड आस्किंग क्वेश्चन आई ट्राइड माई बेस्ट टू आंसर ऑल योर क्वेश्चन एज सुन एज पॉजिबल डे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक आवर एजेंट्स फ्रॉम प्रोटोटाइप टू प्रोडक्शन रेडी फॉर द रियल वर्ल्ड we will explore how to deploy scale and connect to multiple agents using agent to agent protocol don't worry i will walk you through everything step by step so you can complete your assignments easily with concept not boring like run 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 hello run i am rk if you missed day 1 day 2 3 and 4 don't worry still you have time i am sharing all the required links on top please watch and complete your assignments and come back to the day 5 if you enjoy the session don't forget to hit the like button smash it your like will give me more motivation to make another video all right let's jump into the session see everything in action let's go to our lab let's start our session just 2 am just now i received 5 minutes back mail just opening it okay it is a final assignment just go to the page quickly okay okay you just you know that all these uh, setup instructions day 1 completed 2 done 3 done 4 done final day day 5 okay as usual please listen to this podcast and download this page last but not least let's perform our assignment only 103 members done this activity but still just 5 minutes they have done it let's see click on copy and edit one agent to other agent how it is going to communicate okay using that a to a protocol again no need to submit anywhere avoid run all one single agent cannot do everything right okay all right going going down customer query customer is going to query to customer support agent and there is a product catalog agent exactly yeah suppose exactly then the product catalog will give you the result to the customer support agent then customer support agent answer to it right so basically we no need to run this step because it's already available i am not running this install suppose if you want to do it in your local system then only we have to run it let's see you know how to generate the api key by this time if not please watch our previous videos now i am directly adding the add ons make sure that you just select your google api key close it first step authentication is completed import edk components then edk components imported successfully this is also done create the product catalog okay if you remember our diagram initially product catalog one agent has been created here for the product catalog we are just providing basically we are hard coding everything here okay section 2 expose the product catalog agent to a to a why a to a okay all right now section 3 start the product catalog agent server whatever we created right the catalog server we are going to start first if you call to any customer care customer care agent will pick that call and they are going to connect to the product agent and they are going to get the information from the product agent 
from there they are going to get the answer then that answer will going to the uh, call center agent that call center agent is going to answer to you right this is done our server url and the agent card both are here view the auto generated agent card okay we just ran it then it is printing all the information whatever we feed on top create the customer support agent now we are going to create the customer support agent why we are calling it as consumer because customer support is the one directly which we are calling to the front end wherever it is user you can see the product catalog agent the product catalog agent only accessible to the customer support agent it will not be available outside okay now we are going to test a to a communication customer can you tell me about the iphone 15 pro is it in stock the iphone 15 pro is currently in stock with only eight units available it is price so basically they are getting the information from the product agent through a to a communication try more examples customer i am looking for a laptop can you compare all dell xps so then then it is returning the result from the product agent similarly this is one more example headphones okay basically this is the flow flow diagram how actually the flow is going to happen customer customer support agent then it will go through to a, a to a agent then that will call the product catalog agent server and that server and provide you the information finally through a to a and it will come back to the customer all right congratulations we are done let's save this session we are selecting the version type save and run all you have quick save as well when you are when you are selecting the save and run all it execute it it will execute your script as well if you do just quick save it won't execute let me click on save now it is running now parallelly uh, we came to the home page guys so you can notice that there are already eight assignments already there this is the ninth one and which is still in draft because still it is in running mode and you can notice that all my other assignments not in draft all are completed i already showed you the trick right how we can if it is if something is failing you just click on the quick save instead of save all and commit that is how i fix the 4a okay now it is run completed we are clicking on view and this is how you can check the logs successfully ran no issues now if you come back to home clicking on notebooks now you can see that there is no draft it is ran so whenever you are seeing like this that means that it has been saved properly and there are no errors also okay now we'll see the deploy your agent engine on google cloud it is an optional let's see we don't want to leave anything 108 members till now completed okay copy and edit deploy adk agent to vertex a agent engine okay scaling initial i was telling right in the intro of scaling basically right we are creating some agent and we tested locally but it has to be available in the production then only consumers can use it right you don't have a gcp account step one create a google cloud account sign up here new users get free credits valid for 90 days no charge during the free trial period enable billing on your account deploy up to 10 agents at no cost okay we'll import it actually i don't have any cloud let's see secrets how much we can complete it this is done they are saying that in top menu bar 
Google Cloud SDK. Click here. Link account. Continue. Complete. I am running it. Wow. Cloud configuration is done. Next. Set your product ID. Going here. Google Cloud Console. Create new project. Click on new project. Create Kaggle Day 5. I created. Let's see. I am just selecting. Okay. What is your project ID? This is your project ID. Replaced. Basically, this is the variable we are assigning here. Now, let's run this. This is done. We are going to enable it. Let's see. Next. I'm just enabling it. This is done. Section to create your agent with ADK. Printed. Writing sample text. Agent. Okay. This is also done. Create agent code. is done deploy to agent engine select a deployment engine okay just use the adk cli to deploy your agent engine deployment failed permission denied very good this api method request billing to be enabled okay so they are saying that i have to enable the billing so i have to add my credit card i leave it so i don't want to do that okay retrieve the deployment deployed agent i'm just clicking here yeah because that is not running right here it will throw that this is expected billing is not enabled right test deployment agent Session 6, once you done, clean up. Congratulations, you are ready for production deployment. So, if you have the credit card, you can give it a try. But I really don't want to do that because unfortunately, if you forget to stop any services or any servers, then your money will be deducted all right i'm just going to save pretty sure it will be failed that's fine so let's see save and run first okay guys it failed as expected let's see logs always open logs and you can see the failures come down always come down exception okay so server is remote protocol server is not working it seems okay permission denied for our building enable so to enable the building you should have the credit card so this is expected that's fine now i'll show you some trick click on home button notebooks you can see right there is a draft here that means that it is in still draft mode not saved or even not executed that is how you can check your status now click edit what we'll do 
we'll click on edit save one more version 5b version guys now you can see that 5b is successful home notebooks 10 it will be clean there is no draft gone because it is success if you want to see click on edit go to the logs you can notice that there are hardly four lines has executed because it is not run it just saved that's it guys hope this video made your assignment super easy smash that like button if you liked it your support always gives me the more motivation and energy to bring the next video even faster thank you all